If pennies are eliminated, this will lead to a rounding tax as stores manipulate their prices to ensure that transactions are always rounded up instead of down. Low-income Americans who, as the Federal Reserve Bank study shows, are more likely than other consumers to pay for their purchases with cash would be hit especially hard. According to the ACC, the poll results showed that 73% favor keeping the penny in circulation, 76% were concerned that if the government implements a rounding system for cash purchases, businesses might raise prices, and 69% of Americans oppose eliminating the penny and establishing a price rounding system. Even if we remove the penny, it does not guarantee that we'll be switching more to nickels because Americans are switching most of their actual buying of goods to digital currency. A New York Times article in 2017 explains that 8 in 10 Americans are now shopping predominantly online, according to a new study from the Pew Research Center. That's 79% of U.S. consumers who shop on the wedge alone, meaning, or the web alone, meaning that even if we get rid of the penny, their, their impacts coming off an increase of production of nickels will not happen because simply there will not be the need for more nickels because Americans are switching the majority of their shopping to on the web. Tate's math is a little fuzzy here, but e-commerce sales do make up around 10% of all retail transactions, a percentage that continues to trend upwards year over year as we move more and more of our lives online. Businesses and financial institutions are following suit, 